Well, also brought is V-Man1313 and welcome to today's how-to video. In today's video, we are going to be importing files into Gaia. I've made a uh, how-to download files from the internet. And so today's video is going to focus on Apple. It's, I'm on an iPad and Gaia. And so just the refresher, you got to remember you need an app in order to open up GPX, KML, and KMZ files, which is what most people use as their um, route file maps. And so the first thing, and you've already downloaded it to your device, so the first thing you can do, and the reason I do this is because I usually move my files over to a folder and keep them organized in a map folder because this is not my device. Uh, I'm not doing that on here, but I do have the files that I have downloaded that I showed you how to download and very simply all you have to do is uh, double click on them and you'll end up with this and people like this is kind of why, where people kind of get lost that they're like well, what do I do with it um, so up here there's this little square with an up button make sure you can see yeah better up button and then there you have Gaia if you have other apps that open GPX files like Osman, they're there too, but you click on your Gaia button and in a second it will, all imports complete and it will import whatever it was that I clicked on. Now I have other things on here that I need to remove so it makes it easier, but the file got imported and that's the way to do it. So let me go ahead, if you go here to uh, your saved, anything that has an eyeball is going to show up. So when you click on that eyeball, um it makes it go away and then you have a clean map to start with all right and so that's that i don't really i don't i don't really like this little thing here but that's just i know i can i, I know i can remove it but i'm leaving it there for a reason and so that's step one you can go from wherever your files are and double click it up and then pick the file, um, the app that you want to use it on, which today is Gaia. The second way to do is to just go ahead and open up Gaia, and we have nothing, we're nice and empty. We go to the plus sign inside the circle, we do import file, and usually it takes you to your recents or to your downloads, which is where your files are. Like I said, I usually move them into another folder, um, and so that's just for me to keep them organized I end up with too many um, and so I, I, I try to keep them organized that way but wherever your files are you go to it let's uh, let's look up the West George Adventure loop we'll click on it let it sit for a second and then all imports are complete and there you go your file is there pretty simple now and then it shows up here and you have your eyeball that you can turn it off and now we'll turn it off now um, I've been on my Gaia working on a file and I'm working on a, on a route down in South Georgia and here it is and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and get it imported into my thing let me do one thing real quick actually I'll let you see what I do here um, I'm gonna go to my routes and everything that I've done, I'm going to click on and select all the items that I've done. So I've created 64 roads, dirt, and thing. I'm going to file to a folder. I'm going to create this new folder. I'm going to call it. Sorry, got to type. V Man 131380Vs South Georgia ADV. Create that folder. All right, this is folder created. So now I go down to it. I find that South Georgia Adventure loop. Now all full, all the files have been put in there. And the reason I did this now is because now I have a folder. Um, let's go up here. Now I have a folder with them, and you can see now that folder is. This is really another whole another video um, that I can do. That folder is that route that I've been working on down there in the south. 
and so I'm going to go back to folders to show you here we go how to get that onto my device so I need to make sure I'm here make sure that sync is on all right and then we're good to go and then I just kind of go back I don't know why I do that but I go back and just verify that what I'm going to see when I hit sync is that little route so I'm going to go back down here and now I'm going to go to settings I'm going to go to my account and I'm going to go to last sync and I'm going to click on it and now you can see the little star little round thing is loading 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 Hey, it's coming. <laughs> there it is. Now, that's the slowest way, kind of, and the most difficult way, in my opinion, because I find more problems uh, syncing this and doing things like that. I, it, For some reason, I have issues doing it a lot. On my phone I always do it easy but on other tablets and devices it's I, I found difficulties doing it but that is the third way to do it so there you go you got your file from uh, Gaia you've downloaded a file whatever it is that you need those are the three ways that you can import it into your device hope that was helpful V-Man 1313 out